Welcome. So what I have here is i plus 2 divided by i minus 2. And I'll get this, uh, I'll get this mistake a lot of times. Students will just say, well, oh, the i's cancel out, so that leaves us with 1. And then 2 divided by negative 2, that leaves us with negative 1, which equals 0, which is a very appreciative answer. But unfortunately, we cannot divide. These two terms are separated by addition and subtraction. So we just cannot divide each term. This i minus 2, these are divided into both of these terms. So we can't just take what, what numbers over each other, like addition or subtraction, and, and combine them. Uh, we can't do that with uh, division. So we need to figure out another way to divide these. And what we look at this is we know that we have i in our denominator. So when we've had i in our denominator, we've had to multiply by the conjugate. Well, i minus 2, the conjugate of that would be i plus 2. And I multiplied by i plus 2 in the denominator and the numerator. Now, I'm going to kind of go through a couple of different forms of this because we have some special products here. Up here, I have a binomial squared. This is the same binomial multiplied by the same binomial. So let's kind of go through our special product. And then down here, we have a difference of two squares. So let's go back through these and take a look at what they are. If I had a plus b squared, then the product of that, or actually, let's go through this way. If I had a plus b times a plus b, the product of that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And if I had a plus b times a minus b, that is a squared minus b squared. All right. So these are two different products that we've talked about multiple times for so you guys to get to understanding and see. Uh, so you can multiply this by doing the FOIL, the box method. You can write them all out if you want to. Um, but I want to, to introduce you guys to start using you know, a lot of the shortcuts that you can, if possible, because it makes your life and your time a, a lot easier. All right. So if I was going to apply the product of that, I know that for here I'm going to have, for my numerator, my new numerator would be i squared plus 2i times 2, and then plus 2 squared. Then my denominator is going to be i squared minus 2 squared. All right, so now I can just rewrite this and simplify my terms. Well, we know that i squared is going to be negative 1. 2i times 2 is going to be a positive 4i plus 4. And then my denominator, I have i squared, which is negative 1, and then 2 squared, which is 4, so it would be minus 4. Well, to simplify this, negative 1 plus 4 is going to be a positive 3 plus uh, 4i. And then in my denominator, I have negative 1 minus 4, which will leave me with a negative 5. Now, finally, I need to write my answer uh, in, uh, in as a complex number, so a plus bi. So therefore, I divide the negative 5 into both those terms. So I have a negative 3 fifths minus 4i over 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we write our complex number. Thanks.